everyone, welcome to this tutorial in which I'll be showing you how to create amazing pop-ups for your WordPress website using this plugin called Pop-ups. So it's very useful because it's going to allow you to create import messages right on your homepage or on any specific page that you want. As you can see, this is the type of pop-ups that you're going to be able to create. So this is the website that I'm going to be using to show you how to create these pop-ups. So I'm going to go over to my dashboard and I'm going to go to plugins and click on add new. Then in the search bar, I'm just going to type WordPress pop up. And this is the one that you want to install. So click on install now. Then to start using it, just go ahead and click on activate. So you'll be automatically redirected to this page. There is a pop-up example if you want to, but for this video, I'm going to go ahead and click on add new. This will create a new pop-up. So I'm going to give it a title. And over here, you can see there is a box which actually represents your pop-up and you can start writing right in here. So this is the text that I want to add. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy it and then paste it right here. You can also just start typing in here. So I'm just going to add some styles to my text. So this will be heading one. This will be heading two. This will just be paragraph text. And this is going to be paragraph three and is also going to be a link. So to add a link, go over right here to insert edit link. And I want this to be redirected to my pricing section on my homepage. I'm going to click apply. Then I'm just going to center all of this and I'm going to click publish. So this is going to create my pop up. Now I'm going to go to my website homepage, refresh the page. And this is how my pop up appears with my link right here that just links to my pricing plans. I'm going to go back and show you a little bit how you can customize this pop up. So first of all, you can actually add media, pictures, video, anything to your pop up. So I'm going to click add media and right here is a picture that I want to use. So I'm going to go here and click on insert into post and then I'm going to click this to align left. So this is my picture in my pop up. So if we scroll down a little bit, you can see that there is a tab called pop up appearance and this will allow you to change the background opacity, the background color, the text color um, and many options. So first I'm going to change the background color and make it a little bit darker and then the text color a little bit darker as well. You can also change the border color or the border width. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And you can also add custom CSS if you know how to do that. Then you want to scroll down and make sure that test mode is enabled because if not, you won't be able to see your pop up if you've set a cookie. Then click on update. And we're going to go back to our website, refresh the page and wait for the pop up to show up. And this is how it looks like. Another section that you can see on this pop up creation page is the pop up display rules. The rules are created to determine where the pop up will show on your WordPress website. For example, I'm going to choose where the pop up will show. So for this is going to be page type. And that is if my page is equal to all pages. So that means that my pop up will show everywhere on my website. Whether it's my homepage, the contact page, my blog page, whatever, the pop up will still show up. You can also add an and. So that is going to add a second rule. So that means that the pop up will show up in two places. I can also click here on the minus button to remove that rule. I'll talk more about display rules at the end of this video. Another section that is available are the display options. So for example, the box position, which is whether you want it centered or at all these places on your page. Then there's a trigger action, which is how the pop up will come to show up. So for example, here, uh, if you choose seconds after page loads, you can choose how many seconds it will take for the pop up to show after you've loaded your page. 
There are also more options available, for example, when the page is a certain height, when you've scrolled down a certain numbers of pixels down your page, or manual triggering. If you choose manual triggering and then set display rules to all pages, then on any page or blog post, you can place a button that will open the pop-up manually. So you can place this button by using the red icon that you see in the visual editor of your post or page. You can choose the animation, so fade in or slide in, but slide in would only show if the pop-up is in the corners of your page. Then there are the cookies, so after a user has clicked on your pop-up, how many days should it stay hidden? So right now, it's 999. So that basically means that once a user has clicked on it, he will never see it again. Then there's a closing cookie, which means after a user has clicked on the little X to hide your pop-up, how many days will it stay hidden? So right now it's 30. Then as I said before, if you enable test mode, all those cookie options will not be taken into account while you create your pop-up. Just remember that at the end, you should go ahead and click on no to turn off test mode. Then there's close on conversion, which means that once a user has clicked on a form or a social button, it will stay hidden. Then there is also the powered by link. And that is if you choose to uh, join our affiliate program by clicking here on the settings, and then clicking on our affiliate program, uh, you can earn commissions. So then once you've got your link, you can paste it in here and then you can click on yes and that will allow you to earn a little bit of money. And then there are the pop-up shortcodes. If you are familiar with shortcodes in WordPress, these are little codes that you can copy and then paste into the text editor and that will allow you to add more to your pop-up. So for example, if I want to have a Facebook button, I'm going to click on view Facebook options and then this is going to show up and then you can change those options right here. So I'm going to copy this, then I'm going to scroll up and below my sign up now, I'm going to paste this and then you need to fill those spaces. So if I scroll down, I'm just going to copy this and scroll back up and I'm going to take my notepad. So for example, here we can see that href is the link to your Facebook page. So I'm going to go over here and add my Facebook page. I'm just going to go facebook.com, but you should go forward slash and then your Facebook page. Then the layout uh, can either be standard box count or button. The default value is button count. I'm not going to touch it. Then uh, in show faces, I'm going to go false. Then in share, I'm going to add true. Then in action, I'm going to go like. And then um, for the width, I'm just going to leave it like this. And then I'm going to go update. Then I'm going to go and refresh my website. And there you have the Facebook button where you can like and share. So you can do this with all of the uh, short codes that are available down here, like Facebook, Google Plus or Twitter. And then you've got a close button as well. So let's take a look at the settings. We've already talked about the affiliate link. Um, and now I want to talk about the Ajax mode. Basically, Ajax is going to make the plugin more versatile to users who are using page cache and complex rules because it's going to print the pop-up once the page is rendered, unlike the cache plugin. Let's say you want the pop-up to show only for users that come from a search engine. Well, the cache is generated when the first user comes from a search engine, so the second user, who doesn't come from the search engine and from somewhere else, will still see the same copy of the page with the pop-up. So, with Ajax mode, the second user, who doesn't come from a search engine, will just see the regular page without the pop-up. You can also enable debug mode or safe mode. Those are two different modes that will allow you to to check if there are any errors in your website and if they come from this plugin. 
You can also manually style your short codes by checking this and then you can unload the social media scripts by unchecking any of these three buttons. And finally, you can also choose that all the data that was saved in your database will be deleted when you uninstall this plugin. Once you are good with your settings, make sure you click on Save Settings. So now that we've created our pop-up and that we've gone through the settings, I just want to go back to the display rules to make sure that you guys understand how the pop-up will be displayed on your website. By default, the rule that is applied to the pop-up is this one. If the page type is all pages, then the pop-up will show. That means that the pop-up will show up on every page of your website. But there are many options that are available. So here you can choose show this pop-up if, and then you can choose what type of user is on the website. For example, if the user came via a search engine, you can set a specific pop-up message for someone that came from google.com, for example. Or you can set a specific message for a specific post ID. So the pop-up will show up just on this post ID. All right, so now let's um, have a look at the AND and OR buttons. So let's say we have a scenario where we want the pop-up to only show if the user is on the blog page and he's logged in or he's on the contact page. So how do we do that? First page is a blog and user is logged. So that is true. So that means that both of these conditions have to be true in order for the pop-up to show. And then we can add an or, so that is to add a rule group. The page is our contact page. So in this case here, the user will see the pop-up either if he is logged in and on the blog page or if he is on the contact page. So basically the rules inside an AND group have to be all positive for the pop-up to be displayed. But for OR groups, only one of the two has to be positive for the pop-up to show. So I hope now you understand a little bit more about the display rules. So thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope this helped you and that you know more about the WordPress plugin pop-ups and that you will create amazing pop-ups on your WordPress websites. Make sure to also check out the premium version of WordPress pop-ups because you can have even more forms, positions, animation effects, uh, complete analytics, premium support and basically all of the features you need to take your pop-ups to the next level. If you have any more questions, you can always go to the support forum for this plugin where a lot of people are helping out each other, so make sure you go there if you need anything. All the links that you need will be in the description down below. Thanks a lot for watching!